start, man. So look, we got to talk about it. You know what I'm saying? We got to talk about this right here. Now, this is my first time ever seeing this video, right? Um, I just skipped to the part that I really want to explain, really want to talk about. You know what I'm saying? So this is why would you respond to heart comments on your Insta with the blah, 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 blah. But this is third couples therapy. You know what I'm saying? I love talking about relationships. I love talking about how to be in a relationship. And I love talking about all that. So we got to talk about this right here, dog. So we're going to see, is this man doing the right thing in his relationship or the wrong thing? And we're going to see which one is stupider, women or men? Because apparently a lot of people say women. A lot of people say men. I say both. So let's go ahead and get to it, man. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow your boy on all social media platforms down below. But I feel like, do. let's get it, man. As far as you're concerned, just explain to me how you want him to treat you. Um, I would definitely say, you know, I don't want to put a, a time stamp on like how often you should get me gifts, but I just feel like, you know, here and there, I think the last time he bought me something was September, my birthday, which was the Gucci bag. That's the last time that I've gotten like an expensive gift. But and the value not... on these gifts, so is, it, is the value on these gifts, is it the value of the gift or is it something else? I think it's a bit of both. You know, I like I, I like to look good and Jamel knows this. So it's just about keeping up, I think. I don't keeping think he really up. keeps up as a man. I don't think I'm asking for too much to, to, to look. Do you know what I mean? Keeping up? First of all, are y'all married? I just got it. I always go back to are y'all married? Because first of all, I see you got Balenciagas on, on your feet. A Balenciaga is like, that itself is almost a thousand dollars. Okay, that's a expensive brand. Something that I would never buy. But I understand that women like to look good, but why do y'all count on y'all boyfriends to do these things for y'all? I'm not finna spend no, I'm not finna spend past $200 on a woman. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Unless it's a ring and I'm finna get married to that woman. But other than that, I'm not spending like keeping up. Keeping up with what? Baby, it's called, you know how much money young people can, you know how much money young people spend on each other, bro? You know how much they could have if they just stopped spending the money. I wish I would have saved my money from 16 to 18. I probably could have had a BMW by now. How much money I made from my last job and how much money I make from this job. If I would have saved all that money combined, I could have had a BMW, bro. That's probably one of my dream cars. <sighs> She's talking about keeping up. Keeping, girl, what you think this is? Keeping up the Kardashians? Look good. Like, gone for you don't want me to look good? I would love you to look good, but I feel like I'm 27 right now and she's 24, so me, I'm looking at assets, I'm looking at builds, I'm thinking about building our future. I don't think age's got to do anything with this. Because I feel like you're just here for the fast life, you're here for the now, you're not thinking forward. Like, I'm doing the best for both of us. Facts! You here for the now, you're not looking forward. That's a lot of women problem. Y'all always want to... And I think that's another thing, bro. Some see, that's why I say it. it's not a lot of older people than me that are mature. She don't seem like she's the mature type. She don't seem like she's ready to financially be, she's not financially ready to see how much they could be buying, like buying houses and all. Like when you're 27, you're trying to get a house, not an apartment. I'm sorry for anybody that lives in an apartment still, but me personally, I'm trying to look forward to a house, my dream car, by all 27. I feel like 27 is a good age to settle down, start getting my finances ready, not spending $30,000 on shoes a year, like, no. I just can't do that. I, come on. Not just myself. Like, before I was saving for myself, but now you've come into the picture, I feel like I'm carrying the ship, driving the ship, literally being the ship. I mean, I feel like you're making excuses now. Um, for me, it's like, you can't set a standard at the start and then completely change it. Like, that's not gonna work for me. At the beginning, you were keeping up, you were buying me the gifts, you were taking me out, and now all of a sudden it's changed. Every female in a relationship should be treated like a princess. And that is the standard that I have set, and that is the standard that we set as females. Any guy that can't take their girl out regularly, buy her gifts, and attend to her needs, you're not ready to be in a relationship. I understand what you're saying, and I see that you said, you, you was like, um, you you said something about, you know, he set a standard in the beginning. He was doing this. He was doing that. But sometimes you got to realize that sometimes in relationships, people outgrow each other. That man is 27. Now, I don't know what age he started dating when, you know, y'all was together. In the beginning, he probably was just doing it, you know, just to show that he's a good guy. Just show that he loves you. He cared for you. And that's another thing, man. We don't have to buy women things to show them that we love them. We can show them that we love them from the heart. Show them it's all about the little things. If she can't accept the little things like flowers, a card, if she want to accept big things only like Louis Batag, I said Louis Batag's, 
Louis Vuitton bags and all of that, then she's not for you, bro. But she cuts up the little things in life, like flowers. Get her some flowers, and she's so excited. She's like, oh my God, baby, yeah, yeah, oh my God, give me flowers. Like, if she cuts up that, then she's the one. And she talking about female women should be treated like, baby, that's what your daddy was for. Your daddy should treat you like a princess. I'm here to, you know, take, I'm not here to replace him. You know what I'm saying? I'm just here to love you as your man. Some that you, you know, your daddy loved you as your as your father. I'm here to love you as your man. Now, me personally, I'm I treat you like a princess, but not buying all these expensive gifts. Who do you think I am, Bill Gates? I don't have it like that. I'm sorry. You know, I'm saying I barely got a dollar in my pocket. So, girl, I work at Amazon. Take a break. Decide what you want to do. Get your money up, and then we go again. So, why do you have a girlfriend if you can't afford it? Is that whoa, what whoa, whoa! This is your first relation. Don't do that. Oh. Ooh. What kind of places were you going to? Ooh. Okay. Ooh, you went too far, buddy. Boy, you better hide your penis. She might cut it. Buy her gifts and attend to her needs. You're not ready to be in a relationship. Take a break. Decide what you want to do. Get your money up. And then we go again. So why do you have a girlfriend if you can't afford it? Is whoa, that what whoa, whoa. This is your first relation. Don't do that. Oh. What kind of places were you going to? Wow. Are we going there? Yeah, Sorry, Denise. Are we going there? Yeah, we're going to do that. So you're going to say, Wait, tell no, the world just, that. No, hold on, you're... you're going to tell the world that okay. this is my first relationship. That's Bad. embarrassing. Bad. So... Bad. Sorry, Jamal. It's not embarrassing. What are you talking about? I was saying that this is our first relationship, so I feel like... She... That's besides the fact. I have spoken to guys before. I've, you know, dated a few guys. I've had experience with guys, but that's what we're not going to do. Like, I've spoken to guys before. Um, it's not been as successful. Yeah, fair enough. But you can't say that. I don't know. Another thing. She's talking about everything he's bringing to the table. I haven't heard anything that she's bringing to the table. That's why I always ask, well, what are you bringing to the table? He's bringing all this. He's bringing money. Apparently, he could afford it in the beginning. He was buying you all these type of bags and this and that. Now, he stopped doing it because he's trying to financially get himself prepared for the real life. Because, baby, once you turn 30 and once you, once you, once you turn 30 and if you're still working a 9-5 and doing all that, you, you have to financially prepare yourself. That's what you, that's what you start doing at a young age, financially preparing yourself. So when you get older, you're going to have to wait until 27 to get your first house. You can be 21 with your first house, bro. 21 with your first house. Like, you got to financially prepare yourself. That's what I've been doing, financially preparing myself for the real world. For when I really get bills, so I won't live it. So I won't be living check to check. This this girl, she still has a little kid mindset. She feel like man supposed to do this and do that for you. Like, come on now. No, unless we're married. If we're married, your money is my money. My money is your money. If we're boyfriend and girlfriend, baby, you don't own nothing that I have. I don't have to buy you a single thing. I don't even have to buy you food. I don't even have to buy you tampons. Like, just bleed. I, I mean, like, that's really the attitude now. Five relationships. So, did you have any kind of idea of the way a relationship would work? Uh, it's clear that me and Deborah are on two different pages of life. Obviously, I'm 27, she's 24. Um, I'm living for like the later, trying to get my property and other things. Um, and obviously, she's trying to live within the now, like the fast life, the, the flashy things. I've been there, done that. Like, it's great, but right now we need to think about things for the future. I need to flourish. And I don't want it to be a thing where she's anchoring my life. I want it to be a thing where right. we're going together and going places together. I think that's the way we should be going. Do you trust right. Paul when he's out? I do trust Paul when he's out. Yes. And your, you what are your... No, you don't. You don't trust me, clearly. So hang on, but what are your feelings for Paul? I'm in love with Paul. Um, that's why I reached out to you, because I'm trying to save our relationship. I don't want it to get to a point where you realise what you've lost when it's too late, OK? That's not a threat, I'm just saying, because you need to understand that you're kind of being unfair to me, babe. And okay. you have been for a while. And yeah, I love uh -huh. him and I kind of want to work through this, but I need him to understand and to kind of see what he's doing. And he doesn't see that. Right. I, look, 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 look. Let me tell y'all like this. I learned the lesson. I learned the lesson in life. Okay, I'm only 18, so I haven't been through so many, too many relationships. But everybody know that I am a ladies man. You know what I'm saying? One thing that I learned is, fellas, if you can't handle a bad female, don't have. You can't have one. All right. Simple as that. Now I see why he don't trust her. She's beautiful. She's beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Just I mean, that's that's a bad pause. Say to me, babe. I mean. Okay, I can't pause it on the part that I mean, but she's beautiful. She's a beautiful woman. So he probably feel insecure or he probably don't trust her when she goes out because, I mean, he know that dude's going to talk to her. But let me tell you like this. If a dude talk to your woman, bro, 
you should feel appreciated because you don't want no dude saying, oh, bro, come on, you can do better. You don't want no women say, oh, bro, you can do better. Like, you will want a, you will want your girl to get compliments from another dude. And that's why, that's why I had to learn, bro. If I can't handle a bad female, then I shouldn't have one, bro. I should just go... I should go to the females that, that look like my big toe. Like, honestly. So, I mean, she's speaking facts, though. She really, she really, this is the first woman I heard that speaks facts. That actually has a brain. Like, this is the first woman I have heard that actually has a brain, bro. But real talk. Come on. Y'all got to do better. Y'all got to handle, y'all got to handle a bad female. You can't handle one, you shouldn't have one at all. Just give her up, bro. Cause that's one thing you go. That's one thing you go learn in life, bro. Don't lose out something that you that could have been a blessing. Don't miss out on the blessing. If this woman is doing everything possible that she can do for you. She loving you. She treating you like a king. She don't care about other dudes. She doing everything in her possibility just to just to make you happy. Not you make it like you making her happy, but she making you happy also. That could be a blessing, a blessing from God. He done probably sent you your future wife without you knowing. Don't. Please, fellas, don't miss out on something that could possibly be a blessing for your future. I'm telling you, you'll regret it. Okay. And you have been for a while. And yeah, I love him and I kind of want to work through this, but I need him to understand and to kind of see what he's doing. And he doesn't see that. Right. Paul, let me reverse it now. Do you trust Shona? I do. Really? You do? Yeah. That's good. So why can yeah, I not dance then? No, no, no. Look, it's not just the dancing. Uh, Look, you're trying to make it look like I'm nitpicking and I'm pick It's the mentality, right? So, look, social media, just to stick onto that for a second, right? Okay. Let's look at a case scenario whereby she posts a picture. Beautiful, right? Now, if she has um, a comment from a guy, love struck, then if she's liking and commenting on it, oh, thanks, hon, don't, do you think that's necessary? Oh, okay, yeah, sis, yeah, you gotta go. Like, I mean, <laughs> you know, what I'm you know, saying? we come out here okay. for the winter to be with you, and it's, that's, it's like you're not even here with. Me. Now that's a different story. Now that's a different story, and I don't know why women see that, but that's very disrespectful. That's like a woman. How would y'all feel if a woman commented under our picture and we say, "Oh, thank you, baby." How would y'all feel about that? Y'all feel very disrespectful. Like, why is you calling her baby? Why is you calling him hun? Like, it's just okay. Now I see what he talking. Okay, now I see what he's saying. Bro. Answer the question. It does depend on the reasons why. Oh, really? There's no... Okay, okay, okay. Would you do that in your relationship? I don't think it's about my relationship. No, but answer the question. Okay, let's get to what I'm posting. I'm not posting my bum, and I'm not posting my breasts, or I'm not posting in provocative ways. I can post a selfie, and a man can comment. Bearing in mind, yeah, this could be a man I don't know, or it could be one of my male friends. Paul would have an issue with that. I will hear headache. He will tell me to delete the comment. So why are you liking it? I am friendly by nature. So, again, I'm on a platform as well. I don't want to appear snobbish. I don't think there is any insult to reply into a comment that somebody has done. Quite frankly, I feel like I get more attention from social media than I do Paul. And I feel as though, subconsciously, that's probably what is affecting him. Because he feels like... Why are you giving my woman more love than I give her? Then how about you up your game? At the end of the day, when you live with her... Oh! Oh my God! Oh, Rest in peace, Paul, bro. I had your back for a minute. I can't say nothing else. Bro, she said up your game, boy. She basically just said more guys give you... That, that I, I actually I don't know who I agree with more. I mean I agree with the whole thing that he said with the hunt thing that's unnecessary. But her, her logic is so better, bro. Because it's like if you don't want other guys, like let me put it like this. One thing I can say is show your girl more attention than the people in her comment session showing. You gotta be in her comment session being like, oh baby. I love you, girl. You look so fine. What, what, I mean, don't be corny with it. Don't, you know, don't do too much. But if your girl posts a pitch, you got to be the first one to like it. You got to be the first one to repost it. You got to be the first one to say, man, look who I pulled. You got to be the first one who, oh, that's my baby. Oh, I love you, girl. Oh, I don't know. Whatever you want to comment. But you got to be one in the comment session before any other other dudes. 
and she's going to like your comment, pin your comment because you're showing her more attention. You have to show your women all, oh, fellas. Show your girl all. Oh, show her the world. Because if you don't, she going to feel like she get more attention from social media. That's why she posting all these pictures because she feel like she get more attraction, more attention from other guys than she is from her own man. Now, granted, she probably not going to go out there and cheat and do what she want to do. But whole time, you ain't showing her the attention that she deserved to be showing, bro. Your girl is very beautiful. Your girl is very beautiful. Why are you not under her comment session going crazy? Why are you not reposting her on Snap? Why are you not posting? Why is she not your lock screen? Why is she not your home screen? You better do it before another dude do it. Because once other once, once that one dude show her more attention than you, boy, you better. Man, you just lost something that could. I'm telling you. Y'all don't want to miss out on the blessing, bro. Y'all going to be mad because y'all lost something that y'all that y'all had. Psst, tell you. Come on. Come on, Paul. With someone in the house, you've been with a person for a few years. Obviously, it's not every second you're going to give them a compliment. Do you know what I mean? But at the same time... Bro, it don't have to be every second. It don't. But if you're not, if you're not doing what you was doing in the beginning of the relationship and you kind of slow down on everything... That's a problem. Rather y'all live together or not. If y'all live together, you you know, you should always acknowledge how beautiful your girl is. If she go out with this bomb dress on, I'm talking about she looking nice, wonderful. Mm, look at her sprung dishy lotions. And if you don't acknowledge how beautiful your girl is and another dude will, she's going to say thank you. Because she didn't get that same acknowledgement from you. You have to get her compliments. You got to text her out the blue and say, baby, I just want to let you know you're beautiful. You got to show your girl off. I'm telling y'all, fellas, take the game from me. Show your girl off because if you don't, another man will and you're going to be devastated. Devastated. These women move on as quick as a boat. I'm telling you, these women move so quick, boy, they're going to be looking like Shakira on that on that field. I mean, on that, I said field. God dang, that track. Not, not the one that she lost, but the one before she, you know... Start gassing her lungs, but that's besides the point, dog. Y'all, come on, fellas, y'all gotta do better, boy. Y'all gotta do better, and then y'all be having the most beautiful females. How can you not show this off? Boy, you better show that off to the day you die, boy. I'm, you know, on Instagram, if a person's there, what chasing her down, then I'm. It's not like okay, that makes me want to chase her down. But at the same time, I'm kind of like, you know, what's going on? It's, I'm going to be a tiny bit triggered, if you know what I mean, because I'm there. I can see it. It's blatant. It's in my face. There's no reason for him to feel the way he feels. To me, that's a little bit controlling or borderline narcissistic. Mm. And I, yes, mm, and I didn't get with him like that. He knew I was on social media before. He was one of the people liking my pictures. So now, I don't know what you want. Maybe lock me in a room. Maybe I don't post or start on follow, deleting okay, my babe, babe, profile. Let, 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 let me take it from here. Okay. What I got from what you just said is you want to be tamed, right? What? I'm, no, huh? No, I'm, I, I'm not going to do that. Do you understand? You leave that to someone else. But what I can tell you is that all of this, you posting and entertaining other guys, it's not going to get you far. Who's enter First of all, who's and what, what are you saying? If, what does no, that no, mean? No, no, no. I, no, I'm just saying, you know, I'm, be, I'm, be, I'm, I'm trying to be honest. That's not going to get me far in our yeah, situation. Yeah, because obviously, if you think about it, if you're now equivalenting love on a love struck emoji on Instagram to real life love, you've already felt. What stupid love, babe? That's what. You what stupid love are you giving me, first of all? Because I'm not equating the love struck to love. I'm just saying that. For example, I, we could go out for dinner and I could wear a really nice dress. Paul would not say anything. He will take the picture at the end of the evening and I can post in that dress and people will love the dress. All of a sudden, he'll say, oh, the dress is nice, but why are they commenting? Why are they doing this? Why, why couldn't well, you say it before? To me... That's, that's what I said. I promise you, I didn't watch this video beforehand. I'm telling y'all, that's the secret, bro. That's the secret, fellas. You got to love your girl, bro. You got to show her off, dog. And I'm going to keep saying it. Because y'all be so mad when she get comments from other dudes and when she get all this love from other guys. She don't, bro, she, your girl can post a picture regardless. She can post any type of picture. But if you done said she was beautiful today, if you done said, oh, baby, this, this dress is fire, girl. Go on here, kill it, boo-hoo, hello. I mean, that's just how I talk to my girl, you know what I'm saying? I, just, I act like her girl best friend, but it just be a joke. But you have to show your girl off because I'm telling you, dog. You'll get mad. You'll get mad when you see other dudes in her comment session saying this and that. 
if you if you saying the same thing that these other dudes saying to her in person, you wouldn't even care. You wouldn't care about what other dudes say. Cause think about it like this: you the one in her drawers. They just in the comment section. And where you at? You you sleeping with her? You in her house? Or y'all in the same house? Don't worry about what other dudes say about your girl. Cause at the end of the day, look where they at and look where you at. You got the baddest girl on town, baby. The baddest. Why are you so worried about what the comment session say? Don't get triggered by what the comment session say. They just comments. Let her heart them comments. They just comments. Don't comments don't go far. Or she gonna see it, she go heart it. She might say thank you. Whatever. She uh, so what? So they just comments. <laughs> it don't matter. It's like He's probably upset because I get the attention that he's not giving me. Not that I'm equating it to love and I'm and I'm holding on to the love as if it's real. We know how social media is. It changes. So, Paul, do you believe that you are giving um, Shoma the love that she wants, requires, likes? We live together. We're yeah. roommates. But you know Dang. you can be in a room full of people and be lonely. That's not the case. So... Right, so when you're together in a room, you feel that that is giving her love. 100%. <laughs> what the? Okay, look, I'm going to go ahead and get off this video because mainly, mainly because <laughs> your boy got it, your boy got it, you know what I'm saying? I got to go take us in bed, but also the video is 37 minutes long. I wasn't planning on reacting to this portion of the video. I just wanted to react to that last part, but then it ended up going to this part and I didn't know and it, it, it was interesting. <sighs> But uh, let me just say this, and then I'm, I'm off, okay? Being in a, just because you live with her doesn't mean that you're showing her love, okay? I'm telling y'all, fellas, we got to do better. Just, like, once we get a bad female, like, like I said, bro, you can't handle a bad female, you shouldn't have a bad female. Because with bad females, it comes with a lot. You know what I'm saying? Bad, bad women... Fine women, they come with a lot. They're going to post themselves on social media. They go get that attention. But how about you show them the same attention that these other dudes showing them? Because I promise you, she going to feel more love by your comment than other dudes' comments. If your girl feeling more love by her comment section, that means you ain't doing your job. You got to up your game, buddy. You got to up your game. Just because y'all live in the same house don't mean you showing her love. You got to show her love every single day. Having a bad female is not like having an ugly female. Because at the end of the day, ugly women, they probably know they ugly. Bad females, bad women, they know they bad. They know they fine. They know they can they can have any man they want, but they chose you. Now you got to do your job of giving her compliments, showing her love. I'm telling you, some women want to be treated like their father treated them. A lot of, a lot of, the, why, that's why, why you think of such thing as called daddy's girl. A daddy's girl is somebody that's, she's in love with her father. Her father called her beautiful, princess, queen. Like, her father is overprotected. A lot of women fathers are like that. So now she's looking for a man that's similar to her father. If her father was giving her all these compliments, now she go look for you to get her all these compliments. If her father was opening doors for her, now she'll look for you to open doors for her. That's just how the game works. I'm telling you, bad women, they come with a lot. You got to be mentally ready to handle them. Their attitudes, everything. I'm telling you. So how about y'all stop complaining Stop worrying about what the, what what your woman uh comment session say, and step up your game. Get her the comments, cause at the end of the day, they just comments. Your opinion on her matters more than the other dude opinion. Other dudes can call her fine, this and that, but guess what? Guess what opinion matters the most? Yours. Now you gotta you gotta get her the comments. You gotta get her the opinion. Come on. Step up our game, man. Anyways, man, I'm off this video, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit that like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow your boy on all social media platforms down below. It's been your boy, The Pan. I did not realize this video is going to be this long, but it's been your boy, The Pan, man. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.